All right, we're actually going to um, bring up uh, Amanda Jules right now to uh, uh, talk about what they've been covering today with the FOF case. Looks like what? What did you just say? discussion so we just have the little ones in here today. They um, have some animals in there from the Herpetological Society and also talked about the eighth amendment today and how it applied um, to today's current and what the origin of it was. And the little kids we did some DNA extraction from strawberries and then we converted that over to just the basics that it basically tells your body what you look like. So everyone drew a picture of themselves. Can everyone show everyone what you look like? Side earlier, um, Devin and India were in there a little early, and we were doing shapes and stuff, and we were doing squares. And they both made a square, and they said, "Miss Amanda, it's not just any square; it is Mr. Square." <laughs> so I thought I would share that with you because it was very cute. And um, also, since the older kids aren't in here, I'm not going to give any names on these answers. Um, but your kids actually will be bringing them home. Um, since y'all are talking about parenting today, I wanted to get kind of the kids' view of parenting how easy they thought it was, how hard they thought it was, the reality of it. Um, See, so, and I'll just go through some quick ones. I haven't read them all yet. So the first question was, how much do your parents spend on groceries, monthly, electric bill, and water bill? Um, let's see. Actually, some pretty good answers. 200 on groceries. Actually, that's kind of, I wonder whether they're eating at home ramen noodles. <laughs> um, 100 on water bill, 100 on electric. And we have some music. And one said 500 on groceries, 230. So they're actually guessing pretty well on that. Good job, parents, of informing your kids of the economy. <laughs> and what is the easiest part of parenting? Playing with children. The part where the boys are outside. <laughs> and just watching TV. <laughs> watching the kids play, staying home from work with the kids, <laughs> buying food for their kids was the easiest part, <laughs> um, and then what's the hardest part of parenting? Diapers, <laughs> taking care of all the kids, taking care of kids in general, <laughs> um, making the kids learn their work, School, <coughs> making the kids go to sleep. That's the same part as the boys having to go outside. <laughs> and then also um, taking care of kids. And what is the difference between parents and a baby and a teenager? You got this one pretty good. As you know, babies need more attention. Teen has more freedom. And um, is it harder or easier to parent today compared to 50 years ago? And one said. Um, harder because there were no cell phones. Harder because my mom hates the we. <laughs> Anyone want to fess up to that one? Who's the we hater in here? <laughs> um, and then, what do your parents do best? One cooks amazingly and one disciplines good. I love that answer. <laughs> it's not much help. <laughs> um, what do your parents do best? Eat. <laughs> Cooking, mom's cooking and dad's funniness. Being nice. Cooking, we have some good cooks in here. So a little bit of reality for the kids. Um, I'm going to send this home with them so you all can have some more discussion on them of the reality of parenting because a lot of kids really don't know. And you know, be, be realistic with your kids. Share the bills with them. Don't share your income because they're like, oh, you have this much money left over, mom. But you know, be realistic about what parenting really is. So 
Oh, one more thing, I'm sorry. If anyone in here has never signed the black book outside at the um, table and is not a voting member, can you please do that because I'm using your location to form community groups, community care groups, so that since we are so spread out, maybe getting together once a month in our community and knowing when people are sick, when people need each other just emotionally or whatever. So if you haven't filled that out, please do so so I can um, get that together a little better. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce Emily Moore. Really, I'm just here to introduce this information that's on the board now. We have a couple of new families. We have um, a daddy here today that recently became a daddy, but his wife and daughter are not here. Um, that's the Fortins. And we have another family that had a baby within the last year, too, Brad and Ginger Watson, but they're not here today. But we also have two mommies-to-be, you just saw Amanda up here, her and Alex are expecting, and uh, Jamie, who's a her? yeah, Jamie, and she and Bob are expecting very soon, too, I guess, in the summer, and their registries are available, and the idea of us, you know, supporting each other and being here for one another, this is a good way for us to help take care of these new families. And the Watsons and the Portons, I don't know if your registries are, might still be active or maybe just babysitting, books, whatever, to help, you know, just encourage the growth of these little families is our goal here as a fellowship. So, um, yeah, go shop if you feel like spending some money. Or if not, you know, ask them maybe if there's something else that we could do to support these new families. That's all I have. 